everyone. Um, so I finished my butterfly mini album, and the papers I used for this um, were from Colorbox. And um, so yeah, I finished it. I'm super excited. It took me quite a while to finish this. Um, I kind of got hung up on it for just a little bit because I wasn't sure how I was doing the closure for the album, but I figured it out. Anyway, so for the front cover here, I um, you know have it's a chipboard. It has two chipboard covers for the front and the back, and I matted my piece of cardstock on here. I really distressed all around. Um, to kind of make this butterfly image a little bolder and I stamped some script in here too with some black stays on and I used walnut stain and black stays on all throughout this album and a little touch of vintage photo and on this side here I added some brown satin ribbon and then added this lace over top and then did three little pleats because I just really like to do that and I added these uh, corners from Tim Holtz and distress them with uh, black stays on and then this butterfly it was already glittered um, treated and stuff but I went over it and glossy accented it and then zoom in here you can see oh, a little bit too far all through these little pieces here I used crackle accents and I just think that turned out really cool and then on these viney pieces here I crackle accented those as well and I think that turned out cool and then I used a little makeup sponge and went over it with um, some black stays on kind of give it a little more distressed look zoom out again and then my closure here um, I added a piece of metal underneath the pattern paper and used a neodymium magnet um, you can find these at, on the internet um, a lot cheaper than like at Walmart. You can find them at Walmart in like a four pack for like six bucks. It's outrageous. Um, but they're really, really, really strong magnets. And I'll show you here with my scissors. They are really strong. So that'll stay closed. But it's just really nice. And so I layered two pieces of canvas and that I just ripped and frayed and I painted it because it was actually patterned canvas and then I the edges were white or like a creamy color so I used walnut stain and vintage photo to color the fraying and then you can see the back here and it just kind of goes all the way around and then this is a paper bag album um, so I just left the binding so you could see it and it's expandable and I just really like that and so it opens up, and on this front page, um, I did the paper bag, so um, there was a pocket right here. But um, because it's backed on chipboard, it's kind of a tight pocket compared to like um, the pockets, like when you adhere the paper bags together, it's you know expandable. Um, so I decided to do um, this setup here. So what I did is I used a piece of ribbon and this closure here with a magnet and I put a um, piece of metal down here in the pocket and then it flipped open like this um, so I did a mat of cream here that I distressed and did some journaling lines um, that's three and a quarter or three and three fourths by three and three fourths and you can put like a four by four or or three and three fourths by three and three fourths photo um, whatever and, oh, my scissors, they're stuck. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Okay, so, um, it opens up like this, but then it also opens up like this for three more photos. And I decided to just do journaling on this part because it's quite flat here and it'd be easy to write on. Um, whereas these, they could be journaled on, but... So lots of room for photos there, and at the top of the pocket I added this lace, and all the lace is exceptional for the lace that's on the front cover. Um, I was gifted to, or was a gift from Rosanna. Um, she's really nice, and yeah, we kind of traded some stuff, so um, thanks Rosanna. Um, they work perfectly for this album. So, because this is a pocket, I decided to add this little itty bitty tag. And since I glued some metal down in here for the magnetic closure, 
um, it was kind of a short pocket. So I just made this cute little tag. I stamped this butterfly and then stamped this other butterfly and layered it on top of it. Used some black uh, faux pearls, adhesive back. And then on the inside here, I don't know if you can see that, but because this is pearlescent cardstock, but I, in this little piece here, I did use some crackle accents. And then it just tucks back in there and this closes shut. And so on this side, I added this photo mat um, that will mat a 4x5 photo, just like so. And I distressed the edges with the Tim Holtz paper distressor and um, stamped the script. You won't really see the script once the photo is there, but it looks cool anyway. And then added some little cream adhesive back pearls. And there's lots of tags in this, and it's just lots of stuff in here. So I have this fun little tag topper that's on all my tags, and then this is just one of the papers. Um, you can add photos, or you know, like a 4x5 photo would fit on there perfectly, or you can do like a 4x4 four four and journal, or smaller. Um, so, totally cool. And some of the papers, just a few of the papers were glittered, and some of them weren't, so I went ahead and added my own glitter. Um, over some of the accents just because I thought, you know, there were only a couple pages that had glitter, so anyway, that tucks in there, and then this is one of my favorite ones, favorite inserts, so it's um, a piece of black pearlescent cardstock that I textured, and then I added on this side a piece of this tan that I distressed and added journaling, journaling lines, sorry, and um, stamped and embossed this flourish here and then sandwiched my little tag topper in there. And there's a tutorial on, well, quite a few tutorials. I'll put all the video links uh, down below. Sorry, I just kicked my trash can. Um, but there's tutorials on, mm, I think, pretty much everything I did in this album, except embellishing. So there's, um, on this pocket here, there's this insert that's a trifold, and I added, on this end, I added some of that lace from Rosanna and some brown satin lace, sorry, I couldn't think. And it opens up like this, and there's some more black lace here, and spot for, you know, journaling or whatever, or um, it could also be for a picture, left blank. Um, but I did, this was craft cardstock, and I just distressed it all with walnut stain, stamped the script with a vintage photo, and distressed the edges um, with black stays on. So this is pearlescent, it's the craft base, and then the pearlescent, and then the tan over that. I just really like that combination of the tan and the pearlescent black. Distress it at the journaling lines, and then it opens up again. And I did some stamping here with some Martha Stewart stamps, and um, yeah, you add the multiple layers, and you could put like a two by three or two and a half by three and a half photo, so a wallet size, and that would mat in there, and that just looked really cool. And it's really elegant and vintagey, and I, I just think it's really cool, but also kind of grungy as well. I don't know, it's just all mixed in together. It's my own style, I guess. But there's journaling lines there again, and then like the back, so it's all just distressed and stamped with script. So that tucks back in there, and then um, the pattern paper on this, I just this one line here, I added glossy accents to. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see it up here, I guess. And added this butterfly again um, that I stamped with black stays on and then colored in with some distress ink and then I made it so a tube or wallet size photo can tuck in there and I added some pearls and then again you can probably see it now but on this inside piece I added some crackle accents so that looks cool and then another photo mat that I stamped with the script and then I added lace on this one and a 4x5 photo mats right there. And for the tags on this page, this is another trifold piece, and 
it opens up like this. Uh, so you have Dremeling, and you have this fun little decorative um, bird that I, I glittered. It didn't come glittered. And then it opens up again like this. And I have these white pieces here um, for reference. Um, the photos to be used are supposed to, like the way it's set up is to be uh, four by four photos. So the white pieces are not mats. They're you know, just as a reference on where to place the photos. And um, then you have like this little kind of a ticket shape piece that can, you know, add like a tiny little bit of journaling or a date or a title. Um, but I just thought that looked really cool. I know the white really stands out, but it won't look like that when you add pictures. And then there's the back. And I'm going to try to go really fast because there's a lot of stuff in this album. And there's more of the pattern paper that is dressed with um, black stays on. And all the little tags have these toppers on them. And then on this side here, um, at the top of this pocket, I added some lace and then some quarter inch brown satin ribbon. And there's two little tags in here. I made this fun little tag topper that looks kind of like a crown. And then I stamped this butterfly down there and added some glossy accents. And I distressed the pages or the papers a lot. And then I added, um, this is like a label that I just folded in half to make it kind of like a little topper for the tag. And then added some bling, some rhinestone bling. And the back sides are really, really distressed. They are distressed with walnut stain and um, also black stays on and then drilling lines are stamped but then also there's a wood grain stamped in the background and again the script so they are super distressed and they look really cool so and then these just um tuck right back in here oops i'll put this one behind since those are dimensional and then i used some tan cardstock here uh and stamped with um Oh, the, my script stamp, sorry, with walnut stain. Um, of course, you won't really see it, but it looks fun anyway. And I really distressed the edges with the paper distressor and then inked them with walnut stain as well. And then, you know, the photo would just mat on there like that. And there can also be a photo here. Um, but I think it looks cool, just decorative. And then the tags for this. Here's this one, and they're just plain for photos, and you can, you know, write right on them. And this is towards the middle of the album. All the other paper bags have two, um, slots and have two, uh, tags in them. But for this one, because I had a lot going on here in the middle, I decided to just, uh, glue one piece down, so this only has one tag in it. So, this is the middle, and there's the same on both sides. I think it turned out really cool looking. So there's, um, well I talked about it in my tutorial, but this is a paper bag, so there's actually two pockets, and it's kind of gusseted down here at the bottom. But this piece here is a couple different pieces of pearlescent cardstock that I distressed. You could add, a, you could either add a 4x5 photo like this, and it would go all the way to the edges. Or it can be like a 4x4 four four photo. But anyway, it opens up like this. And this is how the 4x4 four four would look. So you'd have like a half an inch border all the way around. Or it can be wrote on. Um, this preferably the cream color rather than the black. And then there's the back with some more lace on it. And those laces just went perfectly for this album. I just really like it. And then this tag piece that I added some rhinestone blingage on the top. And that's another one of those labels that I just folded in half um, to make a little pull tab. And this is superly distressed as well, just like the other two tags. Um, with a wood grain stamp and a script stamp and just lots of distressing for journaling. And that just tucks back in here. And I added the brown satin ribbon and then this lace here and you could put photos here but I like it decorative um, and then you know these pocket things are just the same but then there's this tag for this 
outside. I can add pictures or journaling. And then this side, um, the rest of the album kind of repeats itself for the most part. You got a picture um, or a photo mat here, and then these tag pieces are the same as the other ones. And then I use the same lace and just the same design. And then these tags here. And another one of these that opens up. And I stamped this little fun little scallop border around along the edge. I think it added a nice little touch. You know, the journaling would be photo or decorative, and then the same concept with the 4x4 photos that would, you know, cover the white, but it's just there for reference, like I said. And it just closes back up like that, and stuff it back in here. And then this side, same concept as the other ones. I distressed the edges with the paper distressor, added the lace, and again, the butterfly that's dimensional, and a photo that goes there, and a crackle accident, added the black pearls, and then added the glossy accents along the strip here. And this trifold, again, just like the other one. So it has, this album has, you know, repeats itself, and just I think it looks cool that way. And then there's that tag, my favorite, one of my favorites. I really like how the black pearlescent cardstock looks distressed, and I did that with walnut strain. I mean, it's really shiny, but I think it just looks really cool. And here's the back side with the photo mat, and some um, pearls here, and then the back cover has the same concept with the magnetic closure, and um, it opens up like this. They have the journaling. So plenty of photos there and another one of these cute little tag pieces that are just adorable. <laughs> and uh, some lace at the top of the pocket there. Oh, this happens. So I figured I'd show you since it happened. But these magnets, you stick them together, they're really strong. If you get your finger in there just right and pinch yourself, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> But they're really strong, and they're going to hold, you know, the book and stuff closed. Um, but these, you can get them thinner, but the ones I got, I actually got these from Walmart. Because I wanted some, you know, right then, rather than waiting in the form in the mail. But they're really thick. So it's, and they're really strong together. So it's a better idea to just find a really strong metal. Um, like you can get a piece of sheet metal at, like, Home Depot or something and cut it into pieces. So just closes back up and there's oops, still quite a bit of room to add all the photos sorry I can't lift it up because it's really heavy but uh, there's you know there's I put what I do is I'll take like a stack of paper oh sorry about my reach and just like set it in there when I'm doing the closure and see how it fits like and roughly estimate how many pictures there's going to be, but that way I know that the pictures are going to fit in there, um, rather than making the album and happening to make the closure too tight. Um, so that's how I figured that out, if you're curious. But, and I was going to do like a ball chain thing. I, like when I first showed this on a What's Up Wednesday video, I had like a little knob thing here. My idea was to take a ball chain from the side and it could just hook around. But when I got this finished, these tag pieces were so close to the edge and you can kind of see them in there. I didn't, and it was getting thick, I wanted to be able to cover most of that. So it just looked a little more finished. So I decided to do the canvas instead. Um, so that is my butterfly album. There's not a whole lot of butterflies in there. I didn't want to overdo the butterflies. But, you know, that butterfly in the front really inspired the album. And it just, the album just turned out really cool. I think it just spoke to me, I guess. But there it is. And I will be posting the tutorial videos um, all down below. There will be several of them. Um, some of them, you know... I've done on other albums, um, 
like how I stamp like I have one tutorial that's how I stamp my journaling lines because it's a little different than probably most people do it and that'll be included in the links down below because I did do it in this album and I was doing it did the tutorial on a piece that I was using in the album but um, all the pages I have a tutorial on how I put out all the pages together um, and I think most of the inserts I think I just went through and described how I did them I don't know it's been actually quite a while ago it took me a long time like I said to finish this but here it is it's finally finished and I'm excited um, so thanks everyone for watching don't forget to check down there for the tutorials and be sure to check out my blog you know because I don't do videos all the time anymore because I don't have my own camera <laughs> But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.